Hey, this is Tim here. I'm back. I had a little bit of a break and uh, I'm in the mood to make another video for you. So let's have a look at problem number two. This is a this is a bit trickier. Um, this is definitely a, a, a bit trickier than the first one. And I'm going to try and explain and I'm going to try and explain in English what my um, brain is thinking. Um, I tell my students or whoever I'm helping with SolidWorks, I tell them, we're just, we just want to add as much, we want to add the material first, like a potter would, and then we take it away. So I see like this shape here, forget that there's a hole there, forget the chamfers, forget all the holes, and it has like two wings. I feel like that's a good, and forget this cut out here. Let's just draw this outside shape. Now that's going to be a right pain. Um, We'd have a semi-circle, -cir yeah, let's just sketch it, looks, I'm never going to be able to remember all these dimensions. You'll see, um, okay, part, sketch, first of all, let's change, just make this um, millimetres, sketch, front, I'm going to get myself a circle, I forgot this bloody thing already, right, I'm going to come up here, Oh, you bollocks. I'm going to draw away from it and go to the circle. Now we're cooking. And I'm going to come up, and I feel like it's some sort of wing like that. And it comes down, and then I don't have a clue. Um, all right. And maybe something like that I can always press escape and come down and what we'll do is I'm going to mirror this over I'm going to just draw half of it something like that um now let's go back uh all right I know this is probably a pain me jumping back and forth um 46 uh what we let's get ourselves a center line and something like that make sure your center line is black we want that fully defined hopefully you remember that our objective is to always make sure every sketch is a fully defined sketch if you don't go back to lesson number one all right um i'm going to trim this and i'm going to go like this i'm going to go from here to there and I'm going to drag it across I'm going to make that 41 millimeters something like that and I felt like the distance 46 what the hell am I saying 46 from the distance from there to there is going to be 46 as well so I'm going to go from there to there we will make that 46 when everything is blue we can grab it and kind of move it around and say here get with the program now the, the distance from there to there is 30. Okay. Now, um, the, the Europeans amongst you, among you know this type of dimension. This is your ISO. Um, I'm going to go, I'm just going to change it because it's, um, there's just two dimensioning standards in the world. ISO and, of course, ANSI. That's just the way it is. Document properties, um, ANSI. Now we're that. Uh, I don't know. It's, that's harder to see. Um, no, I'm going to go back to options and I'm going to leave it the way it was. And it's going to be really, really small, isn't it? That sucks. Um, okay. Then now you're going to see how we need to change this. If you're happy with the dimensions, just leave it alone. We'll go back to ANSI. I'm going to go to dimensions. Uh, can I change the size of this stuff? Scale with dimension heights. Scale with dimension height. Font. I'll bump this up so you can see it. Not uh, too much, too much. Tools. Options. Document properties. Uh, dimensions. Font. And what are we at 46? Let's make it 28. That'll do, um, it, it, it'll make it easier for you to see. Look, 
all right um 46 let's put the put the big dimension to the outside now um right what's next 46 46 now what's the distance from there to there 35 okay 35 and then how how far does that wing come out from end to end um i'm looking for that dimension i need to know the distance from one end to the other end um and i'm looking for it here 46 and i see the 35 but what's the distance from there to there oh that's a bloody pain isn't it it's the 42 god i'm what's wrong with me like to not put these dimensions in um oh, what's wrong with me i need a dimension from one end to the other end and it's not there i see the 23 which is that from there to there um god almighty i see the nine that's nine isn't it oh that's hidden away like a cheeky thing oh is that right yeah that's it cheeky thing all right so it's 35 plus nine plus 23 times two okay that's way more than my brain can handle right now um being off for so long all right 35 plus 9 plus 23 put them in brackets multiplied by 2 134 oh uh, yeah but that's 134 from one end to the other end you're so, you, you see i'm not the jedi master that i think i am that's that's not true but anyway um all right 134 um okay what's next all right i got the 134 uh, i got i need the nine and i have the 46 so do i need that nine there 35 oh yeah i could have just put the nine in between them what's the size of the semicircle radius 22.5 22.5 times 245 and the distance from the center down to the bottom is 10. look the more you practice with these problems there's a solid works believe it or not there is a solid works muscle in your brain um and the more you practice the better you're going to get you're going to take the exam and you're going to laugh at it it's going to be no stress now what's the distance from there i have a still have a blue line that goes up and down it, it this is 18 excuse me okay that's something okay 46 um no what i'm going to do i'm going to mirror this across some of you will probably they, you might even have a better way of doing this and there's that's not that's okay you know there's there's a lot of different ways of doing it um i'm just i'm just i think it's i've heard people say it's beneficial to hear what's going through my crazy head um so that's that we have that um and what do we want to do we want to extrude that 50 i think so i'll exit out of this i've never ever done these problems before believe it or not um i steal them from the internet and i just give them to my students to make them suffer now um that's the 50. okay all right what's next um i want to i want to chop off these two things that are on the wings and the height is down 12 and it comes all the way over so i'm going to create a sketch on here and i'm going to get myself a corner rectangle is it 12 i can't remember yet um 
Now, how far does it go, go into the extrusion? It comes in 20. I see 50. I see 30. I rotate. I want to go the right direction. I revolve it so I can see what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to extrude it 20. So now we have that. Maybe let's get this hole here. And it looks like there's a little chamfer on the hole. Now, what size is the hole? Diameter 25. I'll create a sketch. Um, let's get an old circle. Diameter 25. And let's extrude cut through wall. Okay. Now, what do we do to get the big stuff out of the way first? Um, this comes out over 77.2 from the top but with a radius of 42. I'll create a sketch on this face. I don't need to create a plane. I'm going to get myself a big old circle. And is it 77.2 from here? And I already forgot what's uh, radius 42, diameter 84. And I'll click on this and I bet you it's going to slide from left to right. So I'm going to go from here to here. I'm going to make that vertical. And I'm going to exit out of this. And we're going to cut all the way through. Through all. Okay. Now, um, I'm, my brain is saying I need some chamfers. A lot of chamfers. What size are they? Um, 43 millimeters. Uh, 3 millimeters there. There is uh, some sort of this hole is going on. So I'm assuming these are all three. One, two, three, four. All three, okay. Now, does it do that to the top as well? Yep. Um, where is it? Chamfer. We leave the angle. It's always, 99% of the time, it's 45. One, make sure you have full preview one. One, two, three, four, five. I think that one too, and that one too. We can do it all at once. Anything else? And the hole. Is it on the other side as well? How do we know? We look in this top view. Okay, I can see it's on one side, but it's not on the other side. Anywhere else? We've got to do this hole here, this countersink. Now in a second. We go okay. And we'll get a hole wizard. I click the face that I want the hole wizard to be on. Do you remember this instant 3D? Look at all it shows. I click on hole wizard. Do we want a counter bore? No. Do we want a, a, a tapped hole? No. We want a counter sink. Counter sink. Ansi inch. Now let's have a look. It is a 90 degree hole. Okay. So I can tell right away that's it's a metric. Ansi metric. And it's is it gonna be a pain? Do I have it? Um M2. Is it M10 is really what it is? It could be. If I show show custom sizing, that's an M10 that I put in. It's 11 is the hole. The countersink diameter is 20. 20 countersink, 11 is the hole. It goes all the way through to the hole and, and it stops. It comes up 14. So I'm going to click on positions and I'm just going to place it right there. I'm hitting this and I press escape. I'm hitting the space bar and I'm going normal too. And I'm going to go from here to here is vertical. And I'm going to go from there to there is 14. It's black. It's fully defined. And I'm going to go down to end condition and I'm going to leave it as up to next. And I think that's it. Um... Is there anything else? Right click here, 1060 alloy. Um, is there anything else? When you're taking the exam, 
go over I'm just wondering what this line is that line is that back cut of that arc go over and look at everything that you do and just double check it when you're taking the, the certification exam um, I think that's it that's that's part number two okay um, I think that's enough damage for me today um, really mind yourselves the next few weeks and um, keep practicing and hopefully the, the the nice warmer weather will come uh, to all of you unless you live in i don't know tasmania or someplace take care talk to you tomorrow